Hello, I'm back again. Oh, let's see, what have I done? I got my vaccine for the, uh, you know, <laughs> and I was thinking about making a video yesterday, but after the vaccine, I started just not feeling too good. And, uh, my arms, I see, when I went, they're like, oh, you want your flu shot? And I'm like, well, I don't usually get flu shots. But I guess, I mean, I'm kind of old now. <laughs> like, yeah, what the heck, you know. What else you got back in there? Load me up. Just bring it on. <laughs> and they put the, uh, the vaccine in this one and my flu shot in here. And first they're like, oh, well, what side do you sleep on? We don't want to put it in the one and make you uncomfortable. But they ended up putting them both anyway. So last night's sleep was not great. And um, all day today I was feeling just nasty. I kind of felt like I was getting sick. But now I'm feeling pretty good. My arms are still a little, a little, uh, I don't know. But tomorrow I'm sure I'll be fine. But uh, speaking of getting old, um, it's it's weird. Being the age I am, I'm not, I know I'm not like an old guy, I'm not, but it's weird when everywhere you go, people doing these important things, like administering vaccines, you know, uh, people handling your, handling your medications, you know, your doctors, uh, bankers, important job. they're all so much younger than I am, <laughs> um, person that gave me my my vaccine had to have been I don't know mid 20s ish I mean it's weird when everybody seems to be like 10 years younger than you and you know when you're a kid you look at everybody and you see all the adults and then you see old people but when you get older like my age you don't really see old people anymore you just see people you see kids and people not that kids aren't people, but like you see children and you see adults. You don't really see kids, teenagers, adults, and old people. Like you, like babies all the way up till you're in your twenties. You're basically a kid to me, <laughs> and from there you just look like a person that's older. Like I'm not saying the kids are not people. <laughs> I'm saying even like. A 90-year-old guy just looks like some dude to me now. And it's weird. Like, I can acknowledge he's older than me, but it's not as far of a reach, I guess, than it was when I was a kid. And it's, I don't know, it's a little scary that, you know, to think of, the, you know, you're getting older. All these things that are being done by people younger. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a little weird. You know, uh, also, do not, do not, at least in my experience, come home after getting your vaccines in both arms and try to lift weights or do any intense workouts. You will pay dearly for that. It is not fun. It is not a good time. I don't recommend it. But, my friend the mixer here is always there to keep me comfort. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, just working out, I would, I would suggest the day you get it, go home, relax, maybe the next day, relax, if you can, if you can make yourself, it's hard, and then maybe after that, go back to it, because you, you don't, you don't want that, it sucks, I wish I would have, I wish I would have worked out, and then went to Walmart to get my, uh, vaccine, yes, I got my vaccine at Walmart, and, and I mean, you can laugh about it, but it's not like the great value brand of vaccines. It's all the same, no matter where you get it. People might say, oh, it's a pretty good place to get it. Where are, uh, yeah. So, so, uh, it's the vaccine, I got it. I go back on the 8th to get my second one, and then I'm done. But, I think my main point of this video, though, and it was something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. One of the reasons it took me so long to get to my vaccine 
is growing up, my family was pretty religious. My mom, now, first of all, I'm going to make this clear. I do not blame my mom for anything I'm about to talk about. No blame goes to her at all. She didn't know. You know, she was just trying to do what she thought was right. That's all. But you get certain things planted into your head. And, um, and it doesn't just affect that. It affects your sex life. It affects the things you eat. It affects everything. It, you, you think you have to pray about your bologna sandwich before you eat it. You, 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 you feel like you're doing something dirty when you're trying to make love to somebody that you might even be married to. You, you maybe don't want to get your your vaccination because maybe you what if I'm getting the mark of the beast what what if I'm uh, you know you know and it's like uh, all these things were planted into my head growing up and it has affected me ever since I still deal with all these things even though I'm not really a religious person I would call myself agnostic um it has affected me. I, it, you know, I was married. Every time you try to have intimate moments, in the back of your mind, you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm doing something dirty, I'm doing something wrong. And it can affect you. And I think what really upset me was the fact that I, I wanted this vaccine to protect my kids, to protect the people I live with, to protect the people I interact with. Anybody that comes in contact with me, it... It's not so much myself, is I don't want to spread it, I don't want to get it. Obviously I want to protect myself, but I did it. And, and something that not only protects me, but helps my kids and everyone else. Why am I sitting here thinking, what if I doom myself by getting this? What, what, what if I get this and, and everything in the Bible was true, you know? Um, I apologize if I stutter a little bit. It's kind of hard to talk about. It's a little embarrassing, but I, I, I'm tired of struggling with this stuff. I, I need, I wish I could just let it go, but in the back of my mind, I'm always like, well, what if, what if there is this? What if there is that? But then I'm also like, well, what if there isn't? What if there isn't? What if there's nothing? What would you rather have? Would you rather be judged or would you rather not have to worry about it? And when you die, there's nothing. I think both are scary, but... I, I guess it depends on what type of person you are. I mean, we all do stuff we regret, but... I like to think I'm not a bad person. I try to do the right thing when I can. I try to raise my kids right the best I can. I, I try to interact with people the best I can, and... Nobody knows, and that's the thing. I'm not going to get into some religious debate and uh, push my beliefs onto anybody watching this. But I just want you to be aware that if, you, if you're if you a religious person and you're pushing this stuff on your kids, it's going to affect them. And you might be like, good, let it affect them. They'll raise them right, make them good people. Maybe, but... I think I'd rather be dead sometimes than struggle with what I go through. Do you know what it's like to be a kid? A child? And you're always afraid that, oh, what if Jesus comes back today? You'll be playing with your toy char car, your, your video game, and you're having fun. And then there's this voice inside your head that says, hey... This could all stop at any moment. Anything you do, it could all end. It could all go away. And, uh... I don't know how else to describe it other than traumatizing. When I was a kid, any time I heard a noise, I thought it was the end of the world. Any time my sink water turned a little bit red because it had sulfur in it, or anything, I thought the world was ending. And 
that living that way was scary and it never fully goes away those seeds eventually start to grow and no matter how many times you try to rip them out there's sometimes a little part of them that stays and uh those those seeds have have maybe not have grown to get worse but i can't pull them out they're still there they still affect my adult life i am 36 years old and i still think about those things and you might say to yourself good maybe you should maybe you're right maybe i should but what if i shouldn't have to what if i've been suffering with all this forever for nothing what if i could have had a, a more of a relaxed childhood a, a more of a relaxed adulthood what if i could have enjoyed things better what if i didn't have to worry about people disappearing when i was a kid oh because you know it's the rapture what if somebody's disappeared oh my mom's not in the living room oh my god oh she's just in the bathroom okay my heart can stop pounding out of my chest. You know, that, I, I don't, I don't, I would hate to see my kids grow up that way, constantly being paranoid and scared. I wish I could put into words the way it feels, and I can't. This video can't express how it feels and how important this is. That people do this to their children, and they just all they think they're doing is helping them. They want them to raise a good human being, but people are traumatizing people, and they they'll live with it forever. You know, and that's why it took me so long to get my vaccine, because those seeds are still planted in my brain. Even though there's part of me that's like, that's silly, that's ridiculous. Just go get your vaccine. It's simple. It's a simple thing, go get it. You know, never mind the microchips and whatever people believe. I had my own personal issues, and I'm sure other people do too. You know, you hear all kinds of stuff, and you don't know sometimes whether to believe it or not, but... I'm not, and don't get me wrong, this video isn't judging anybody. I'm not, if you're a Christian, you know, Buddhist, whatever you believe in, that's great. You know, you be you, and whoever you are is wonderful. Just be careful what you teach your kids and when you teach them. You don't want them to struggle because they're afraid for things they shouldn't be afraid of. You know, little little kids shouldn't have to be scared about things like that. And you may disagree with me. You may think they should, and maybe it'll raise a good person that way. But the anxiety it causes is not worth it. It's It sucks not being able to enjoy anything you do. Because in the back of your mind, you think it could all end at any time. Which could happen no matter what. But for reasons that it were planted there, you know. Oh gosh, the moon's a little red tonight. You know, oh no, the world must be ending. You know, it's it's not fun. And it's it's kind of been 36 years of hell. I don't really talk about it much to people and it because it sounds stupid. But I wanted to get it off my chest. It, 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 it can ruin marriages. It can ruin childhood. Childhoods? Childrenhood? A person's childhood? <laughs> yeah, anyway, I, I didn't want this video to go this, this weird and depressing. And my channel is not about depressing anything. 
This is just something I've had on my mind for a very long time. A video I wanted to make for a very long time. I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, I, I could have wrote up a ton of points I wanted to make. But I don't think I have to. I think you get the idea. And if you're the kind of person that just disregards this. And says whatever, I'll do whatever I want. Then I, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, just maybe if you've gotten this far in the video. Maybe just think about it. Just think about it. You know. Before you start planting those seeds. But that being said. We are over 15 minutes, and all I did was ramble, which is kind of what this channel is about, but I don't want it to be always about stuff like this, but I have an outlet, I have a place to talk, maybe nobody will hear it, maybe nobody will watch it, but it's good to get it off my chest. Like I said, I was thinking about calling this little video series Unboxing Myself, and that's what I'm doing. I'm unboxing myself, I'm kind of in a therapy session with myself here, but I think, um, I think I feel a little better. I've talked about something I've been, I've been wanting to make a video about this for years, but I never knew how to start it or how, I don't think there is a right or wrong way. Just go for it. Anything you want, just go for it. Go do it. Even if you're not ready, just do it. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I just, I, I hope I was able to express what I wanted to say. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, I hope I can, um, I hope I can work past some of these, you know, struggles I have and I may be 36, but I'm, I'm not that old yet. I, mean, I got life to live, hopefully. <laughs> Unless I get hit by a bus tomorrow. But, you know, I, I, uh, I'd like to get past some of the stuff that uh, burdens me. And, uh, you know, if I ever get married again or something, I don't want there to be weirdness because of my brain. Or if I'm out and I, you know, I see something, I don't want to be, oh God, you know. I mean, it might not be as bad as that, but it's bad, you know, it, like, I was going to title this video, maybe something along the line of, like, growing up religious ruined my life, and I don't know if that's a little too stretching a little bit to say it ruined my life, but it heavily, heavily, heavily burdened it, but that doesn't make a good title, does it? <laughs> um... I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it yet. It'll probably be something like that. But please be careful what you teach your kids and when you teach your kids. And it's okay to let them grow up and figure out what they believe on their own. You don't have to drill that in. A lot of people think they do, but a good person is a good person no matter what. So, with that, I will take another drink. And I will see you in the next video.